What's going on, you whitey tidy wearing weenie whistlers? <laughs> Welcome to Grunt Speak Not So Live, your source for the inebriated truth in a world gone to shit. I'm Toxic Male. That is Fat Punisher. Man, those tongue twisters. You got to work on them. Yeah, I'm not really good at them, never have been. I try to tie him into what we're talking about. Yeah, it's yeah. not always successful. It's how it goes. Oh, he's got to burn you. Yeah, you know, it's all we we always burn. Just like we like to burn the holidays every time we go live on this show. This is just they're so damn weird. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. Well, well, well so, International Day of Peace. I can understand. Well, that. we got Belize Independence. Okay, Escapology Day. Uh, this dude what the looks fuck? like. He got tied up at a pride box. He looks like the actor from Quantum Leap. (laughs) Malta Independence Day, Mini Golf Day, National Black Women's Equal Pay Day. Oh, yes, because you're totally, Mm -hmm. totally not included in affirmative action, despite being totally not part of the female majority of the population. National Britney Day. So you gotta you gotta give thanks to the Lord for all the chicks named Britney who friend zoned you back in school. National Cat and Dog Gut Health Day, because you know, in early in you know detection of problems with your pet's guts is important. Yeah, yeah. National Chai Day, Garage Condo Day, oh, Christina Day, Christina Day. With hey, a how K, you though. doing? With a K, one of my exes. How you doing? National Opioid Awareness Day. Well, that's how we uh, finance a lot of the globalism to China. What about Telegraph Pole Appreciation Day? Well, that's uh, one way to and that, get around bet, calling that it one, erotic I bet dancing. you comes from Brit Taiwan. On. Yeah. And, of course, World Alzheimer's Day. Best to not forget. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dick move. I lowered I apologize. It's all right. Be it's with the right. pygmies. Listen, we've beginning. all had relatives who had Alzheimer's or dementia. <laughs> yep. It just happens. <laughs> but... Or should I say, but we do have some more red pill suppositories from, he goes by Iron Riddle. And he's got a, a few of them here, all back to back with several stories and truths that come in right on the tail end. So, And he is life saved number 451. Yep. So you guys who saw the first red pill suppository a few weeks back, this is the same gentleman here. 451. He always starts these emails the same way. I make it a point to take daily doses of the Crimson Capsule because I got tired of them as forced suppositories. For example, regardless of your religious or spiritual beliefs, to me, this is a fascinating story. The legend of Lilith from over 3000 BC comes from Jewish folklore and several others. Go ahead and bang that and begin reading for days. Summary. Lilith was Adam's first wife. Whore. (laughs) <laughs> she was created from the dust of the earth Just like Adam and therefore demanded to be Adam's equal She refused to be on the bottom during sex, among other things Signaling dominance over Adam, not equality Many would be upset to find that the God of the Bible Implemented the first divorce with no alimony, child support, health care insurance And without half of Adam's shit <laughs> Just send her packing After being warned, she was cast from the Garden of Eden, leaving her disfigured, first woman to hit the wall, and became the first female demon slash succubus. She swore to get even with God by destroying the seed of Adam, attacking infants and children. It was believed for centuries that the children who died in their sleep were taken by Lilith. This is where the term lullaby comes from, which was a prayer or song of protection over the children. Fast forward 5,000 years, this sounds exactly like modern-day effinism. Hate God, hate men, abort all children, children which are alive, possess and indoctrinate into the religion of Lilith, rinse and repeat. Red pill truth, never get involved with a woman who is in competition with you. Walk away. I like it. And this is why you don't go, this is why men don't go for career women. Because career women are in competition with men 24-7, 365. That's absolutely correct. And they're only going to aim for men that are higher than them, or men that they perceive to be higher than them. Eventually that does happen. You are correct. Yep. I mean, they might throw a bone once in a while, because you know, women get antsy like anybody else. Well, you know, I've, uh, I've dated quite a few career women. Yeah. And, you know, usually after the tingles go away, <laughs> they start uh, doing the monkey neck and looking to monkey branch to the next pea nice. It, it literally almost always happens. Yep. 
What? What in the bud, bud, so, baby? Yeah, listen, if you want, if you want to date those women, go ahead. Yeah. But just be, you're warned. We, it's we're at your warning peril. You. It is absolutely at, at your, your peril. peril. What can you do? But let's jump into. He's got another one here. This one's a little bit longer. It's pretty right. good. We got, I make it a point to take daily doses, yada, yada. One of my Marines was more than a year older than me, but a second award corporal. He pulled a pot by shaking the whore tree and married the first one that fell out. It happens. Boom, 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 boom. He just completed his divorce and had a suppository so far up his ass his eyes were red. He lost a stripe, was paying child support, lost visitation, and was moved into the barracks. All of this was caused by his pole dancing, pot smoking, court sno- coke snorting ex wife. And why did she do this to him, you ask? Because he walked in on her doing his best friend from high school. Whoa. And she was pissed for getting caught. Wow. All right, let's just put out the call now. How many times, gentlemen, have you caught your woman cheating and magically it was your fault? Send us your stories in the email, or if they're really short, Put them in the comments. We want to know about them. I, you know, the thing that really disgusts me here is his best friend. Yeah, I mean that's got to be that's got to be a huge hit. Not his friend anymore. Nope. Damn. <clears throat> his blue pill thinking was lobotomized from his thinking meat through his booty hole. That's instantaneous. Uh, yeah, that's all, really all it takes. Been there, done that. Got the T-shirt. Didn't like it. Don't no. wear it if I can't. <laughs> exactly. If you want uh, some good shirts like the one that he's wearing, you can go to the merch shops. Links are in the Meat Gazer box. I was a sergeant and TAD, TDY for for four weeks to Scott Air Force Base with some of my guys and the corporal described above. My blue pill mind was absolutely blown because every place we went, women would flock to where we were because of him. He was not particularly that handsome of a man, no homo. He was a bit shorter than me. I'm 6'2 and about the same build. But on every occasion, when we went anywhere, the flock of women was five to ten deep, trying to get his attention. Damn. Clubs, restaurants, bars, malls, didn't matter. There was a harem of women competing for his attention. And I asked him several times over the four weeks if he knew why all the women flocked to him. Do you have any thoughts? Uh, Basically, he was throwing off the I don't give a fuck vibe. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I asked him several times over the four weeks if he knew why all the women flocked to him, and he said the same thing each and every time. Because I don't give a fuck. (laughs) (laughs) To me, this made no sense at all. I couldn't get my blue pill programming to accept this, even though I was watching it daily. After all, I was told my whole life that women want a nice, sweet, thoughtful, respectful man. No, they don't. That's a lie. Some women out there do, but today's day and age, most don't. Yeah. It's, it's they want dangerous. a man who's going to hold frame and lead. Yep. That's essentially it. Yeah. Even it. feminists out there admit that they like sexist men, <clears throat> but really what they mean is they want a man with a spine. They don't want male effinists. Nope. That's why those dudes wind up uh, getting tossed into to jail. For the rap hey. A- Appare? Appare? Yeah. Uh, Epar? Epar? Snuggle struggle? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's terrible. Well, yeah. Whoa. It's, it's just surprise banging. That's all it is. I, I thought you liked surprise. <laughs> That's terrible. Surprise bang. <laughs> surprise bang. It's, it's all good. <laughs> During this same time, I was mourning the loss of my long-term relationship for which I had one-itis, a.k.a. my soulmate. Oh, my God. And I was a sniffling pile of snot. Mm. I, I can't even point fingers. Uh, Every dude at some point has thought he found the one. I've actually had to slap a few guys for that. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> Wake the fuck up, bro. She's a dancer. <laughs> What are you thinking? Don't, don't you say such things. <laughs> no. She's got an OnlyFans? Get out of here. Yep. Wake up. Dumbass. One night in an Applebee's, some women wanted me to be in his frame so badly, they were shamelessly competing for his attention. 
Oh, some women wanted to be in his frame so badly they were shamefully you know, competing for his attention. Yep. Seven women were around us trying to get in his lap, touching his chest, shoulders, head, and plenty of package checks. Wow. Were they drinking rum? They must have been. Wow. And, and what's hilarious is that if a group of men were to surround a one woman in this manner. It would be problems. Jail. Yeah. At the, or at the very least, you'd get removed from the bar by force, you know, by a big dude named Vinny. Or they would ask you to leave first. Yes. Yeah. You may or may not have, you know, love tattooed on both knuckles from his time in the joint. Or, you know? Know, love and pain. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that. If and one follows the other. <laughs> yep. All the while, I was invisible. Two guys sitting nearby took notice, asking each other, what the hell? They didn't understand it either. The guy's an asshole, and I didn't know they did lap dances here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything else to do but listen in. Two of these women, looking to get to him, started talking with me. And within 60 seconds of con conversation, I could hear the crackling of their holes drying up and snapping shut like rat traps. Damn. Now that is some very vicious but highly accurate imagery Yeah, right there. Because if you can see exactly what they're after, and you ain't it. That's it. Sounds like Rice Krispies and milk. <laughs> it's actually like wax paper. <laughs> we should probably do a comedy video like that, doing the sound effects and what they actually yeah. stand for. It's how it works, though. Yeah. You know, then back in the day, you know, I was very much trying to be like, you know, the, the, the sweet, thoughtful, respectful man. And after getting shit out enough times, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to get mine. You don't like it. Kick rocks. That's right. And that's when they start lining up around the block. I don't know why that is. It's just so weird that it actually works. Because if you freely give them your love, adoration, respect, and attention, what's it worth? Nothing. There you go. There you go. After a bunch of drinks and two hours later, five of those women were back at our hotel room and two of them dragged Corporal in the bathroom and brown chicken, brown cow. <laughs> <laughs> two sexiest animals on the phone. Here we go. I was left in the room with three of the other women to more sounds of holes drying up and snapping shut. Wow. They say nice guys finish last. This super simp nice guy didn't even cross the finish line for the leftovers. Ooh. Now that is what we call a teachable moment. That's a harsh uh, hit to one's ego. Women, women and men can both smell desperation. But <laughs> we have polar opposite reactions to it. Ah, uh, yes. Men smell desperation, and they're like, oh, I can totally hit that and quit it. Neutral slam it, park stop it, run it through all the gears, leave it dripping fluid from both ends in Section 8. It'll be fine. Yeah. What could go wrong? Women smell desperation. They're gone. They run screaming in the other direction. They don't even scream. <laughs> they just turn into shadow beings and disappear. <laughs> they walk away with that wax paper sound between their legs. They're just like, poof. They're gone. <sighs> Ninja smoke. Yeah. The next day, we were at one of the buildings on Scott Air Force Base. I was leaning against a wall with my arms crossed, casually talking with one of my Marines. An Air Force Staff Sergeant E-5 with four stripes then walks towards me with two female airmen E-2s in tow. Now, I was a Sergeant E-5 with three stripes. I made it to a point. I made it a point to know the rank structures of all the U.S. services and loathe anyone who doesn't have the same sense of duty. <sighs> the C-5 then interrupts my conversation with my Marine and in a very condescending tone asked, So tell me there, Sergeant, what brings you to my base? This ass thinks he outranks me, and even if he did, he already he had already shown evidence of a lack of military respect and courtesies by rudely interjecting his question while I was in mid-sentence. What a shit show. Yep. My, my blood boiled and I red pill knew instantly he was posing for the two female airmen. If he were alone, he would have said fuck all to me. Neither of the airmen noticed me and were completely swooning over him, who was a good looking guy, no homo. I did not change the way I was leaning against the wall nor uncross my arms. <laughs> I said to my Marine quietly, give me a second. I then looked over at the shit show, and he must have seen the fire in my eyes because he went from leaning toward me to taking a step back huh. and standing at attention while all I did was take a breath to speak, calmly. 
<laughs> I explained who we were, where we were from, and why we were there. He nodded, not saying a word, and quickly walked on. The two airmen were now staring me down with F me eyes, mouths open with their ears and cheeks turning flush. Ah. I looked over my shoulder and the two airmen were still looking back at me, walking slowly away. Shit show was leaving them far, far behind. Because of blue and red ideals, I was able to make the Sahara Desert and Niagara Falls back to back in less than 12 hours. I don't think Shit Show got laid that night, but probably would have if he had not shown his ass to me to jam the suppository up deep inside. Wow. That's a homo suspicion point. Wow. <laughs> You're not supposed to be jamming anything up other men's asses. No. That is a horrible, horrible That's, idea. Oh, That's no, how no, you no. get the pride pox. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I hope for your sake you're not the kind of person who enjoys picking at scabs. <laughs> Because that would be... (laughs) 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 I love that one. Crimson Capsule Truths. There's a few here. Mm -hmm. The 80-20 rule is real. 80% of women want 20% of the men and will compete for those men. You cannot manufacture genuine burning desire. No, you can't. Women will mate with the male they perceive to be of the highest status available to them, and that status must be higher than she perceives herself to be. Women would rather share a top alpha male than settle for a simp. Also, don't shake a whore tree and expect a wife to fall out. (laughs) (laughs) That's so true, though. Like We don't have a whole lot to interject with these particular ones because the comedy kind of writes themselves. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's totally writes true. It. Gerald tells stories in a very good way. And he has one here. This is uh, volume 11. We actually went through several volumes in his first video. Yeah. So this is, we'll cover this last one. And then, yeah, this, I is, got a, roll this is a new one here a few months ago. All right. I was standing in the lobby at work speaking with two of my coworkers. One of them is a former Army Ranger combat vet in his early 30s. 6'4", handsome, has a body like Zeus. No homo. Mm. He's single, working on his Ph.D., and so are the ladies. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And is on point to become a senior engineer, which is very hard to do with less than 20 years' experience. Another co-worker walked up, and he joined our circle. He had second co-worker visiting from out of state with him. She was 5'7", a strong 8, without makeup on. Ooh. And there's trouble right there. That's going to be a problem. That's expensive trouble. I was taken back because you just don't see that in my industry. She was staring with Zeus with the F me eyes as if to say, Oh, be my God, take me, concur me, own me, Zeus. And she would take her eyes off of him. As the seconds rolled by, I could see her ears and cheeks flush over, and she was shifting her weight from one foot to the other while grinding her legs together. I think she was teasing her tic-tac. Could be. I've seen women do that. I, I, uh, I've seen them walk up and actually puff their chest up so they got good tits. Look. Hi, how are you doing? They, I'm serious. They do that. Yeah. Can you help me? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Anything you need, as long as it's not that. Because <laughs> they know we're dick thinking. Like, yep. Uh, uh-huh. All what right. could go wrong? The other three of us in the circle were completely invisible to her. She couldn't see or hear us because she was trying to get Zeus's attention to no success. Zeus did not notice her, or if he did, I could not tell. He could have led her out to the parking lot off company property, and she would have followed, and he could have plowed her into oblivion. However, women are not in his short-term goals. But, oh, we already saw that one. Hang on. Yeah. There we go. But I do know. That he wants children someday, and he knows that his wall is 25 years away or more. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to meet young women who are at least somewhat crimson-capsuled. I'm not sure why I was enjoying the show of her being rejected. Does that make me a sadist? Could be. (laughs) I then had to call facilities to shop back the flood on the floor. (laughs) Wow! (laughs) Truths to to glean from this. And uh, this already been said, men cannot, you, can, you cannot manufacture genuine burning desire. Men need to stay on their path and choose a woman who will join him on his journey. Yes. Don't dip your pen in the company ink. Never do that, man. Never, never. Women will mate with the male they perceive to be the highest status available, and that status must be higher than she perceives herself to be. Absolutely correct. Yeah. 
And that's correct across the board. Uh, Iron Riddle, you're a very, very intelligent individual. You clearly have been learning the lessons that life has been throwing at you. Yeah, you are on point, though. Absolutely. Yeah. And that is one of the, the things that I think one of the, the big truths that men growing up now, like the younger guys who still haven't figured this out, they need to understand is that you cannot manufacture desire. Yeah, if she's not into you, she never will be. Yeah, and you cannot negotiate it. If mm. she ignored you in high school, when yep. she's at her peak and then tries to come back at the high school reunion when things are starting to get dark for her, yep. it's not your turn. You <laughs> you are the sympathy vote. You are the uh, the consolation prize. Yeah, you're the yeah, you're the door prize. Yeah. But I don't want to tell you how many dudes. That. I can't tell you how many dudes I've seen. They're like, "Oh yeah, well now she she loves me." And and these these chicks post these TikTok videos, me showing up at my high school crush's house as a broke single mom with two kids, and then it shows her walking in the door, me arriving home 3 years later as a married mom of 3. <laughs> Simp. Cuck. Absolutely correct. Mangina bitch brain. Yeah, look. Uh, wow. You you really hit this. I mean. Yeah, that'd be a good, you know, send us your stories on this subject, yeah. too. How many times have you, you know, has a woman rejected you and then shown up as her value is starting to plummet while yours yeah. is ascending into the stratosphere. Yeah, let, send in your slingback uh, yeah. stories. And I hope that you didn't fall for it, dudes. Oh, my God. So many guys do. You know, they think, oh, well, uh, um, I, I'm, I'm a hot shit now because she wants me. No, no. She's, mm. She knows she that she's me. burning in and she sees you as the beta provider. Yep. That's what it is. It's not your turn unless it's your turn at the guillotine. <laughs> Absolutely correct. You need to leave these ladies on the lot where you found them, and sooner or later, they all congregate in the same place. Stop. <laughs> Don't touch me there. This is my no no swear. Stop. I love that song. <laughs> but, you know, it, I'm in my 50s now, right? Yeah. And uh, I know do about probably two dozen women who were knockouts in their 20s. And didn't give me the time of day. And now they're in their 50s. And they are all effed up. And I want nothing to do with them. I couldn't imagine trying to date in my 50s. Especially in today's modern dating climate. these Like, the older these women get, even if they look like the Crypt Keeper, they still have a freaking list this long. Of delusional expectations because now I know my worth. Absolutely correct. Sorry, but uh, you clearly don't. <laughs> <laughs> clearly. Wow. Well, send us your stories, dudes. Thank you for watching the video, supporting the channel. If you want to be kept up to date with all of these Crimson Capsule suppositories going straight up your fourth point of contact, hit the subscribe button. Because yep. if you don't, well... Pop's not going to warn you when the chicks come back knocking on your door. <laughs> All right. Because if you're smart, you're going to you're gonna see the knife hand in your mind, and you're going to hear his voice in your ears. Don't do it. And, and please, go back and watch the slingback effect. Yes. All right? It's a classic episode. Yeah. And probably back burner blues. Those two are linked. And uh, testiculus redonculitis, otherwise known as surrender your manhood. Yep. Because covered all these subjects in the first year and a half. When these people sling back and you fall for it, surrendering your manhood is exactly what you're doing. Absolutely correct. And never, ever give up your power. Nope. Boom. Take it easy.